What's up guys, Frank Macaluso here giving you another episode of the N54 maintenance series behind me. Today we're gonna to be working on the front main seal. We've already done the rear main seal in a previous video. We've also done the belt work and the oil filter uh, housing gaskets and everything else in order to get to the point where we're at now. So please take a look at all those other videos in this playlist, this very comprehensive playlist in order to identify how to fix all of the common failure issues on an BMW N54. Today we're gonna be working on the front main seal. We're gonna be using the special tool that's required to remove and install the front main seal. We're gonna be using the primers and the RTVs and we're gonna be doing this the right way. Stand by guys, you don't wanna miss this. So as you can see, we have an engine that's basically mostly apart. We've done a lot of other things on this so far. Now we've gotten to the point where we can remove the front crank flywheel. Now there's about six bolts on that. I gotta take a look and see exactly what they are and show you and do it. Once we do that, then we can access the, re the front main seal and we can start talking about what it takes to actually remove that seal and replace it correctly. As you can see, things are very, very dirty in the front of the engine and that was because of this guy leaking. Big, big problem. And it can cause uh, deleterious effects for the front main seal and we need to get through that, fix this, and get a perfectly running engine again. So let's see what kind of bolts are actually on here. Um, if you see, you're not gonna be able to see. So I'm just gonna do it. Uh, looks like they're Torx, but six, seven, yeah, six of them, six Torx. Um, there, there you go, you can see a really good view there. So these are not T40s, they're actually external torques. So it's E, E for external, so E10s. And those E10s, it's probably a good idea to put some sort of an extension on there such that you can access them very easily. And it's right there. So what we wanna do is basically just get one on, see what the, see what the torque is like on these. And I'm gonna loosen up all six of them. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's not that hard. All right, now that all six of those have been removed, now I want to see, I think that's just a bit of a pressure hold. It's basically held on by a little bit of pressure. And I think that if you just kind of give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a pry, I think it should come right out. There we go, yep, perfect. Very, very simple. Putting that aside. Now, let's see if I can get a good view of it. Exposes the front main seal. Now this is actually quite easy to replace if you have the right tools, and we do. So let's talk about the tool really fast. So I wanna take just a minute and talk about this AST BMW crank seal tool. It's a 5254, and it has everything that you need in order to remove the, the, the and reinstall a new flange. This guy is what you use to remove the old one. As you see, it's some sort of a tapered large thread. You screw that in. I'll, t I'll show you exactly how to do that, but this guy is used to remove the old seal. And then you use a combination of this tool here to bolt onto the crankshaft and this tool here to push the new seal on with the uh, assistance of this guy. And this installs the new seal perfectly centered and square. So these are very important tools. In fact, I don't think we use this one for, this pur for these purposes. This is a very, very important set in order to uh, properly do this job. Um, and, uh, and I'm glad that I have it. I'd like to thank Details used cars for providing this to me for I guess a second time actually I uh, I just haven't uh, sprung the money to buy one myself apparently I've I've got a big bit, bit of a need to do it So uh, I got to pay them back and in, uh, in some other favor some other way, but thank you guys Thanks Ryan and Ray Agnew for letting me use this tool again I really appreciate it big help if you guys have any questions about uh, details used cars what they do They're located in Endicott, New York. They, uh, they have some really cool cars. They're into the uh, CCA racing at Watkins Glen and they're uh, pretty cool guys to get just get to know and, uh, and hang out with 
Now I'm gonna take this tapered threaded tool and literally start threading it by hand on the actual seal. When you do that, you get it tightened enough, then you start using, I believe this is a 22, but I'll confirm, and start tightening it up real good. Then you take this bolt on the outside and start screwing that in, that pulls the, the, the old seal out, clean it, and then we move on. So there is the location of the seal. You just take this guy and you literally start threading it on. So the size of this guy is more than 24 millimeters and that's why I'm using a regular open-ended wrench instead of a uh, box wrench or something because I don't have the right size. But it doesn't matter. This is all you need. Just screw it in just, just a couple, right? Don't go crazy. Okay, so when you feel a good amount of tension here and you only see like maybe three or four threads exposed left, then you can start putting this guy on and then you can tighten that up with a 19. And as you start tightening up, you'll see that the, the old seal starts to pull right on out. Keep on going. There it goes, old seal out. Be sure to clean it up really good with a rag. Gotta also do not only the inside of the aluminum housing here, right? the housing, the aluminum housing here, but also the outside of the bearing surface where the seal will be making contact all needs to be cleaned. The primer that's used is a 171000 Loctite. It's green and it comes with a little brush on the top so you can easily apply it. Now let's apply it. Start adding our primer. Primer will go on the aluminum, on the inside, especially on the mating surfaces between the two engine blocks. Gotta make sure it's really nice and set there. Remember, that's where the RTV is gonna go. Okay, now that the primer has been set, now it's a matter of putting the tool on for the insertion. This is the tool, okay? And you basically put it on top of the crank and then you take your bolts and the bolts get threaded into three of those six positions. Now, you need to take your seal and slip it over. This here is an alignment tool that's part of the seal. But all it's meant is to just install the seal. This does not go and, and it's not part of the actual assembly. So you put it in here and you gotta make note on these little notches here. These little notches are those items that you basically primed before that is the interface between the two uh, aluminum surfaces. And that's where you're gonna end up squeezing RTV in after the fact. But for now, what we need to do is slip it over the tool, and then you have to align and clock your seal so that it aligns appropriately with those block marks. I can rotate it and right there is right where I wanna be. Just kinda give it a little tight. Make sure that this seal is nice and square because now we're gonna be putting the rest of the assembly back on here so it pushes on. I'll show you how to do that. This is the part that actually pushes the seal in and the diameter of this matches the diameter of the seal and you take this guy and you slip it right over there. The actual pushing is done by this guy. This is a thrust bearing, right? You can see how it spins here, right? That allows for easy or no friction between the spinning surface and um, and the stationary surface. So if I were to spin this on, you can see here that I am actually moving this seal in already without, with many, with very little minimal effort. But better minds will prevail and I'm going to use a 24 millimeter on this so I can squeeze it 
in the right way. And I'm gonna start putting this on and I'm gonna keep on torquing it until the tool bottoms out on the block. That's how I know that I've reached the depth that I need for this seal to get installed. Looks like it's good. Now I wanna back it out. Remove that. To finish up the complete installation, you need a Loctite 5970. It comes in a syringe like this and you squeeze it just like a syringe and you are able to get the, the, uh, the RTV out and push it into those two little sections, those two little nubs that I was telling you earlier in between the two aluminum blocks. Finding that actually just putting it on your finger and squeezing it in that way might actually be the most incredible way. So that's just about it, guys, for this series of the N54 maintenance video. My name is Frank Macaluso, and now you know how to change the front main seal in your N54. Guys, check out all the other videos that we have in this series. They're very easy to binge. It's one after the other after the other. They're only 10 minutes long at the max, but some of them are way shorter than that, giving you just the bare bones of what you need in order to do the job right. My name is Frank Macaluso from Garageaholic. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and take it easy. Later.